first, you are going to start out with four two by six orange plates, which makes a six by eight plate. And you are going to put down some smooth pieces, orange ones all around the border. All right, now you're going to take your four by four yellow green plate or whatever you have to make that up. You don't have to be so precise with the pieces just as long as they can make up the same size in the end. So you put that down, then you're going to put on the smooth pieces that are yellow green. And finally, you are going to put on eight of the yellow green one by one ramps. And just like that, the first plate or first side of the machine is complete. All right, so now we're working on side two of the machine. Once again, you're going to take four two by six orange plates, lay them down to create a six by eight, and just put on some smooth pieces around the border. All right, now what I have are four one by four yellow green plates, which will just be the same as my four by four yellow green plate, which will just go right over here. And we're going to put on yellow green smooth pieces to cover this up. And finally, you probably guessed that we're going to put on the one by one yellow green ramps. And just like that, we finished building two walls of the machine. Now take everything we just built, which should just be these two Lego walls. And down in the description of this video, download and print these Tic Tac decals. It's just two Tic Tac logos that are the perfect size for the machine. You can either cut these images out using Big Mama scissors, or if your parents don't trust you with that because you go crazy, you can use these child safety scissors. I'm just going to use the big ones and you can, once you've cut this out, either attach it to the machine using double sided tape or you can use shipping label paper which is already stickered on the back. But I'm assuming most of you don't have that so I'm just going to do it the simple way. Now cut this out so that the black lining is a part of the scrap paper. I just put that so you can eyeball the white outline on the Tic Tac logo. Let's get cutting. Already I just finished cutting out both the Tic Tac decals. Now you're just going to take a little piece of double sided tape or scotch tape if you don't have that, but double sided tape is bay. You're going to flip it over, just place it on right in the center, flip it over and gently place it where you want. That's definitely higher than I would usually place the Tic Tac logo, but I'm just going to show you how to do it very generally. Once again, take your double sided tape or regular tape and roll it into a ball, put it on the back of the Tic Tac logo and place it right in the center of the green. There we go, perfect. Now to build the candy dispenser, you're going to take a one by three gray plate and then you're going to stack five one by one gray plates right over here. And now take a one by one light gray tile and close it off. Now we're going to take another one of those tiles and put it right in the middle. There we go. And take one of the one by one gray plates and put it on the other end. Then we're going to take a one by two brick, perhaps the biggest brick in this machine, funny enough. And then we're going to take two one by one light gray plates and put them in the back. And finally, take a one by one gray slope, put it over there and you have just finished the dispenser. This coin bake is only five pieces, so it's really easy to understand. All you need to do is take a one by four, put it down, take a one by one plate, put it over here. This was also a plate if you could not see. A one by one brick with the side stud. Then a one by one orange circular right over here. You don't put it right there, but clip it onto the side. And then finally a one by one gray tile put it on top and just like that you have built your coin bank. All right, so you're gonna start off with a one by six orange plate. And then you're going to take two one by two light gray plates and stack them all the way on the right side. Now you're going to take two of this brick. It's a one by one light gray with a knob coming out of the side. Anyways, it's perfect for Lego candy machines. I'm gonna put one there and one here. You can tell that I actually just made this one up with the one by one piece with like a hole inside and then using one of these in light gray. You can do the same yourself. This is just a simpler way to use less pieces. Then from there, you're going to take two more light gray plates, 
and put them both on top and then take a 1x2 light gray tile and put that on top. From here you're going to take one of the walls that you made in the first step and smack it on the back so that it's just above this 1x6 orange plate so you'll be able to wiggle it around like so. Then take one of these 1x1 light gray bricks with the side stud and put it all the way in the uppermost right corner. Then take two of these 1x1 light gray plates and place them on the bottom. I'm realizing that it's probably better to turn this out and then place the two 1x1 light gray plates on and then turn it back inwards and then snap it back on. Here you can put on four 1x1 light gray plates so you can make it smooth. Now you can take your coin tray, and I would suggest putting it here because it actually helps keep the machine stable. Then you're going to take what should be your last of these light gray pieces with the side stud and put a gray one by one ramp on top. I'm going to leave that over here because that's actually going to be clicked onto the other wall we have. Now you can take a one by one orange ramp and put it on so it's facing in this certain direction. Ah, uh, this needs to stay up. I'm holding the machine up with double-sided tape. Now you're going to move this to the back and take one of these 1x2 bricks with the two holes in it and put one of these blue pegs in each. It can be gray too. Put one so it's facing backwards and one so it's facing forwards. It doesn't really matter which way. Now take this part and put it right in the center and the top. It'll swing like that, but when we put in the second wall, it should be all right. Finally, one more thing before I show you what we do for the second wall of the machine. I want you to take one of these 1x2 gray plates and put it on right over here. All right, and we're almost done with the machine. Now we've got this wall, and all we're actually going to do here is take this gray part I told you about earlier and put it on so it's on the right side, the fourth stud up. So now that we have our two Lego walls, you're going to put in the coin bank or coin tray and the dispenser if you haven't done those yet. Then, just like an ice cream sandwich or any sandwich, you're going to flip over the other wall and click it on. Make sure everything clicks in place. Yep, everything clicked in place for me. Going to lift it up and A, what do you know? We're almost done. Now the last part that we need to build we're just going to move this to the side. You're going to take two of these 1x2 orange plates, put on a 1x4 orange tile, just to click everything together, just like that. Then you're going to take a 1x2 gray plate, put it on over here, and to compensate for this area, we're going to have a nice smooth 1x1 orange ramp. I would say put this on, but first, you can't forget, we need to put in our Tic Tacs. So take your box, obviously any color Tic Tac works, but I would suggest only putting two in the machine, or actually, you sort of have to only put two. One or two, because three gets jammed, although it doesn't look like it. The mechanism lifts the Tic Tacs up. Anyways, it's too complicated, just believe me, guys. So let's dump out some Tic Tacs. Alrighty, just gonna use two of those. Put it into this hole. One, two. Then you're going to take this piece that we made. All right, that just dumped over. These videos are going super well. You're going to put this on. It should all click in place. And just like that, you have built the Tic Tac machine. Congratulations, you have just finished building the world's smallest Lego candy machine that I know of. It's only on a 1x6 base plate. To use this machine, it's very simple. First of all, you can't shake any candy out or any money out. This machine is legit and locked. If you turn it to the back, you try to grab this out, you can't because the coin dispenser is aligned, I mean the candy dispenser is aligned with the wall. Turn it to the front, you have to put in a penny, just push it in a little bit, and then you turn it around, and sure enough, the piece is popping out now. You pull it, there's a tic tac right there, so you can push your candy tray back in. Take your tic tac, eat it, save it for later, that could be kind of weird if you did. Anyways, you turn it to the front, to get the money back, all you need to do is pull this circular piece and dump out the coin and just put your coin tray back into the machine. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I plan to make more fun tutorials like this in the future. Please tell me what you thought of this video and machines you would like me to make. Peace out, Girl Scout.